you don't get the best results from AI because you don't know how to prompt. When you write, everybody knows you're using chat GPT. I tell my students, use chat GPT, but don't get caught. So you might be saying, well, yes, that's the problem, but what can I do about it? You need to learn how to prompt properly. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply for Coursera Financial Aid and take the AI prompt engineering course for free. Because the application pattern has changed, from what I shared with you in this video. So now let's head to my computer and go through the step-by-step -step process on how you can apply for financial aid on Coursera and take the AI engineering prompt course for free and any other course you want to take on Coursera absolutely for free. When you click the link in the description, it's going to bring you here. As I said earlier, the video I made about applying for financial aid on Coursera has changed. The process has changed. Initially, when you come here, you're going to see apply for financial aid or financial aid, but that's a, that has changed. People don't know that they can still apply for financial aid on Coursera, okay? So, and I'm going to show you how you can do that in this video. What you want to avoid is clicking on enroll for free. Please do not click on enroll for free. What you want to do now, we are applying for financial aid for Google Prompts in Essentials Specialization. There are other courses as well on AI Prompting, but this is the one we want to apply for, okay? So this course has four course series. Right here, you can see starting with start writing prompts like a pro. If you click right here, you see define prompting in reference to generative AI tools, recognizing and applying prompts, blah, blah, blah. Design prompts for everyday tasks, speed up data analysis and presentation building. Use AI as a creative and expert partner. So this is the course we want to apply for. There are others as well that you can choose from the same process on applying for financial aid. So all of them are the same. So you can choose to apply for another course and not this one, okay? You will also earn a certificate once you're done with the course. Okay, now to apply for financial aid, all you need to do is to come down, scroll down. Here you will see financial aid available. If there is financial aid available for the particular course you want to apply for, you're going to see it here. So basically, they changed it. They changed the location from up to down. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do is to click on learn more. Now, you cannot apply for all of these courses at the same time. Remember that this is a four-course series. You cannot apply for all of them at the same time. So what you're going to do is to apply for course one. Once you are done with course one, you apply for course two, course three, course four, the same process. So we're going to use, so we're going to apply for course one we're going to click on next now now application can take up to 16 days to be reviewed so don't panic we don't hear from them in one week so once you click on continue to the application I started using Coursera I think whilst I was still in college so if you've not used Coursera before all you need to do is just to sign up add all your details and once you get here this is what yours will look like yours will look like college unemployed if you want to put employed here it's fine but we're, we're begging for money <laughs> we're not begging for money basically we want to apply for financial aid that's why we left we're going to leave this as unemployed the next step is to answer some questions reason you applied for aid if you don't know what to write here we're going to use chat gpt for this tutorial so you want to come to chat gpt make sure to take a screenshot of this prompt you are an expert in scholarship and financial aid essay writing write a compelling authentic and well-structured answer 150 to the Coursera financial aid question. What are you applying for financial aid? Why are you applying for financial aid? Why am I saying 150? It's because the word limit is 150 words, okay? So this is the prompt. Use the following context about me. I, so I'm basically giving ChatGPT context about me so it doesn't write a generalized answer for me. Though I have been using ChatGPT for quite some while now and ChatGPT has basic information about me. So if you've not been using ChatGPT to just give you big answers, okay? But if you've been using ChatGPT, it's just going to give you an answer based on what you've been doing. Still, I decided to provide more context about myself to ChatGPT. I said, using the following context about me, I am an aspiring digital entrepreneur. I am an aspiring. I told ChatGPT I'm aspiring, okay? Because we want Coursera to believe that this is my first time I'm aspiring. Please help me. <laughs> so I am aspiring at <laughs> I am an aspiring digital entrepreneur and content creator focused on building online income streams through skill development and freelancing. Write in a natural, sincere tone that balances humility and ambition. Avoid generic phrases like, 
I am passionate about learning. Instead, make it sound like a real person speaking from purpose and financial need. And then we're going to send this prompt. So here we have our answer from ChatGPT. Applying for aid because I'm currently in a transition phase. Building, I'm going to remove that weird dash. You should always remove it. <laughs> Building my path. So for the sake of the tutorial, normally I don't just copy ChatGPT content and paste. I make sure that I take this to my Google Doc and refine it. If I was applying for a school or whatever, I would refine this. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to copy and paste. But I am definitely going to remove the weird dash. Okay, I'm going to remove the weird dash. I do not like it for whatever reason. Okay, so here we have 145 words and we want this to be 150. So we're lacking five words. But let's see if this is going to go. By the way, let's go through our essay. I'm applying for financial aid because I'm currently in a transition phase, building my path as a digital entrepreneur and content creator with limited financial resources. Every course I take directly impacts my ability to learn online and support myself sustainably. At this stage, I'm investing my time and energy into learning skills that can help me build a solid foundation, a solid foundation for freelancing digital product creation and clients work. But paying for a course or paying for courses in dollars is a challenge due to currency exchange rates in my country. Receiving financial aid would remove the... Can't you pity play the country? <laughs> the country card, wow. Receiving financial aid would receive... Will remove... Receiving financial aid would remove the barrier and allow me to focus fully on learning and applying that and applying what I learned to real projects. I'm not taking this opportunity lightly. I plan to implement every lesson to strengthen my online career, create value-driven content, and eventually mentor others who are also who are also trying to build legacy, like legitimate income streams through digital skills. This is super cool because I also I gave ChatGPT content, and this ChatGPT knows that I don't like buzzwords. <laughs> so this is actually very very great. This is super cool. All right, so I'm going to. I'm not sure. Normally, it's, this will not go if it's not up to 150 words. It has to be 150 words. It can be more than 150 words, okay? Maybe in our next prompt, prompt we're going to tell ChatGPT to keep it 150, 150 to maybe 250 or 150 to 200. So we'll have a sat, all right? So because this is not up to 150 words, I'm just going to say thank you here and see if it will be, it will be more. Hmm? Thank you so much. We're going to say thank you so much here. <laughs> Just to get this up, I appreciate the support. Yeah. <laughs> so we have our green tick. So we have 150 words now. We're going to tick this and then click on next. Now the next question is how will your selected course help with your goals? We're going to do the same so we're going to come back to charge pt this is the prompt you should use take a screenshot pause the video and take a screenshot you are a professional education and career statement writer write a detailed goal-oriented response 150 to 200 remember the other one was 150 and we're lacking a few words to the Coursera financial aid question, how will your selected course help with your goals? Context about me. I'm applying for the Google Prompting Essentials specialization to strengthen my ability to use AI tools effectively in business, content creation, and digital marketing. Write in a confident visionary tone, show clear alignment between this course and my practical as well as my professional goals. Avoid overused words <laughs> like help me achieve my dreams, Focus on specific outcomes, career growth, new skills, community impact, better client results. End with a concise statement of how the course is a strategic next step in my journey. So this is the prompt. Write it down. Copy it. I don't know. Take a screenshot. Copy it. The piece of paper. I don't know how you're going to do it. And then we're going to click send. And ChatGPT is going to do its work. Yay! Save us some time, baby. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to copy from ChatGPT. And then we're going to go into the Coursera box. And we're going to paste it. Okay, so before we go through the answer, here you want to reduce this to zero. Okay? How much can you pay for your selected course? Nothing. <laughs> we don't have nothing we cannot pay anything okay so here we have a response from chat gpt 
we are going to remove the long dash because normally we don't like not like they will mind but i don't like it <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> okay so we have our uh, essay the next one is terms and conditions you want to say um you want to click this boxes i'm sharing accurate information on my application it's accurate all right i'm committed or i commit to finishing my course please you should finish your course don't go through all this hassle and then you don't the next thing you want to fill in here is i agree i agree to the terms above oops to to the terms above and you want to tick this to make sure you are not a robot review so this is our application and we are going to click on summit application in the next uh how many this is it 14 weeks or 14 days or 16 days you're going to get a feedback a yes or a no <laughs> all the times i have applied for financial aid or coursera i always get a yes so i hope that your application is convincing enough because don't think that they don't tell people no they tell people no that's why i took my time to show you how you can use chat gpt to answer your question or to answer the essay properly so don't just go and type i don't have money and one line and all i don't know don't go and copy and dump only make sure to go through what chat gpt is giving you to give chat gpt the context so you can pause this video copy write down the prompt anyhow you want to do it use it in your own situation i hope this video was helpful to you if it was like this video so it can reach a wider audience share it with your friends and families and click the subscribe button if you're yet to subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching as always enjoy the rest of your week bye neighbor